guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let's address this really weird freaking story behind me. This is literally the best place for me to film in my house. Ignore the background. Maybe this can be like a cape. So as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be seeing if I got in to every, every single, single Ivy League, League school. League. That's right. Harvard. Stanford. No, that's not even an Ivy League. Okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. First of all, I did apply to Ivy League. Eeg. Without an S. You can apply to college in three ways. There's regular decision, which you apply during regular time. There's early action, which you apply early and you get your admissions answer earlier. And there's early decision, where you apply early and then if you get into the college that you apply early to, you can't apply to any other schools and you can't go to any other schools. You basically signed a contract to go to that school if you went in. So my dumb self lives in Philly. I applied to UPenn and I applied their early decision, which at that time seemed like really smart. Like obviously if I get in, I'm gonna go there. Long story short, I applied and I got in, which I'm really, really grateful that I got in, but I still wanted to apply to other schools. My biggest reason is because I wanted to make a video saying, I applied to all Ivy Leagues. And even if I didn't get into any of them, it would have still been a cool video, but I can't do that now because I applied early decision and I can't apply to any other schools. So I'm going to UPenn, I'm a Quaker. The first thing I want to talk about relating to UPenn is their freaking mascot. That's terrifying. Today I went to a student admitted days at UPenn, which is like when a bunch of students from all over that applied to Penn, they come together and they have like panels and booths. When I was just walking with my friends and some new friends that I made. Yeah, look at me being social. So I was walking and I see the freaking mascot. And let me tell you, at first I was terrified and then I peed a little bit and then I took a picture with him. He wasn't that bad, he was a nice guy. All schools in Philadelphia are low income title one schools. So like the people that I meet are all like raised similarly, they have like similar backgrounds. But here in New Penn, when people are coming from all over the country, different backgrounds and things, it's new. It's just really out of my comfort zone. Obviously nothing negative, like I didn't have any bad experiences, but just things that I'm thinking about. First of all, I talked to people. Like, two of my friends were with me that got also got accepted to Penn that I knew from Philly. And I thought we would just be in our little corner, like not talking to anybody, but we actually like made a little friend group. I have like a group chat. I added some people on Instagram. It was like, it was fun. Right, now let's get to the exciting part when we went there they gave us a bunch of free stuff and you know how much i love free stuff i know like a lot of students there that probably like already have their whole like pen hoodies like they bought their pen shirts they have like the little pen pens like some people came repping pen i didn't buy anything yet because like that costs money and i rightfully didn't buy anything yet because they gave us so much free things and i'm going to give you guys a haul Welcome to my pen haul. So the first thing that they gave us when we came into Quaker Day, I already said this, but the mascot is a Quaker, so admitted days for pen is called Quaker Day. So they gave us this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, you can see it. So, which it has my name on it, and I'm in the College of Arts and Sciences, which is a part of Penn, and I'm undecided, because I don't freaking know what I want to do with my life. And they also gave us this, which is a Quaker's Day card. There's like Quaker money you can use or something, and they gave us all $20 to use in like some, not everywhere at UPenn, but like some cafes that are owned by Penn. I made sure to use every last cent. And also it has 20% off a single item at the Penn bookstore, but I didn't use that because they have like, you can buy a Sharpie from Dollar Tree for like a dollar, but in the Penn bookstore, it's $3 for the Sharpie. Like everything is triple the price and 20% off is still like, I'm just really cheap. Not cheap, I'm freaking commonsensical. It's like they bring something up 50%, and they're like, here, have 20% off, so you're still paying 30% more. So, yeah, basically, I beat the system. And also this yeah, lanyard. I hate lanyards. People love giving these away for free for some reason, and I hate wearing them. Who wants to have, like, a little lanyard? Like, hi, I'm a Quaker. Nice to meet you. Like, this is, a, like, a nice bag, but the straps don't have to be this long. Like, when I was walking and I had the bag on, it reached all the way down to my butt, and it would just, like, be bouncing, like, slapping my butt, which is really uncomfortable. It has a nice zipper here. Let's see what's inside, so... Disgusting! So here is a pen shirt. So I'm so happy they gave this to us. Cause in my high school, they do a day in May where people wear like the shirt where they're going to college. And I didn't have anything to wear and I wasn't buying one anytime soon cause I don't know why, but they gave me one. So let me just put it on right now. What, can you look away, weirdo? <laughs> I like it. 
But what are these sleeves? I probably should have got a medium, not a small, because it's kind of tight. Why do I complain about everything? So here is one of the things that I was so excited to see, a bottle. If you know me, you know I love bottles. I can have a nice, perfectly usable bottle. If I see a nice bottle in the store, I'm gonna buy it. Cause like, bottles are just so nice, like. And it's like a really nice blue color. It has a useful straw, which everybody loves a good straw, am I right? And it's just a really nice free <laughs> bottle pen. Here is the booklet that came from Quaker Days. It says, Quaker Days, April. Th That's weird. They had to print out these like for the exact date. Like, what if the date was moved? This is some thinking ahead, but they make so much money freaking charging 80K for tuition for every student. So, so much of that money isn't just going for education, it's going towards this. <clears throat> Welcome to Quaker Days. Oh, there's this is Ben Franklin. He actually founded UPenn. You are here for a reason. You're a mover, a shaker, and would make a great future Quaker. Get up and get quaking. All right, kind of pushing it with the quaking puns. Oh, there's also like a notes part. Who actually takes notes on this? Penn students, so far, like some of the ones that I met, they would take notes. They'd be like, you will find a way or you will quake one. <laughs> okay, here is something else that was free. So this was with some of the panels they had. There's a major in Penn called Urban Studies and they gave us a nice tote. I don't know if you guys ever seen like a booth where they have like information about a specific topic and they have like free stuff you could get and you really just want the free stuff, but you have to pretend you're interested in what they have to say so you can like not seem like a jerk and just take free stuff. So I just grabbed a bunch of papers from Urban Studies and here's like their schedule, which I guess at least I'm recycling. A lot of pen is like extra courses you take to expand your knowledge and learn what you want to do, which is good for me since I'm undecided, but I, I kind of just want to figure out what I do so I can get out of college faster. Or not, I don't know if it's faster, but I could just do what I have to do. But I can't do that if I'm undecided, so it's kind of my fault. Another free thing, which is actually really cool, a USB, the Urban Studies booth really had us covered. And I love USBs because I lose them all the time. A bookmark from the Language Center, and here they have just a bunch of languages. Is that all the languages in the world? Also, this came from the language center. I might do like drawings on this. Maybe I could do like, a, you know when people do those flip books, where they draw a picture and then it changes? Like it's a movie, I might do that on this. This thing for my phone, this is instructions on how to use this. It literally says, remove the backing and apply firmly to the back of your mobile device. Who's gonna look at this and be like, what do I do? Where do I start? I have a pop socket on my phone, so I can't really use this unless I move the pop socket up and then I put this here. But eh, I had this since I got the phone, so I ain't changing it now. Not even for you, pen. You, pen, you, pen. <laughs> Ooh, I got some pen pens. Let's see, this is from the Language Center booth. Okay, so that's all the free stuff that I got, which is pretty cool for doing nothing, basically. I got to skip school, too. I remember in, like, middle school or, like, even before high school, skipping school used to be so great, like, because I didn't have to really worry about anything. But now in high school, especially senior year, when you skip a day, you just miss so much work. So it's just so much more stressful than if you just went to dumb school. College is probably even worse. I just hope this summer is really good because college is starting soon. And all these Penn students just seem really passionate. Who's gonna do my laundry? I have to do my own laundry. I have to cook my own food. Well, actually, I don't have to cook my own food because it comes with a meal plan. I'm gonna get fat because that meal plan is all you can eat for like all three meals. And it's like a nice buffet. And people always complain about college food. I went there today with the card they gave us, the $20 cash thing. And that food was good. I had chicken, they had ice cream, they had like dessert. And if I go to a buffet and it's all you can eat, I will eat all I can eat. I'm really grateful that I got into UPenn. I'm excited to go. I met some great people there. Some of my friends are going. It's in like Philly, which I'm used to here. I know it's easy to say that when I already got into college, but in the long run, it's four more years of school. Or if you decide not to, it's just your life is gonna continue and you're gonna most likely get a job and you're gonna try to find whatever makes you happy. So whatever circumstance you're put in, just try to make that work best for you. And yeah, if your mindset's in the right place, it'll be good. I'm a heart. I, why do I give advice? Why do I try to give advice? Um, what's a pen? Quake on. <laughs>